right now on Chronicle in High Definition. We gave dogs their day. Now, cats strut their stuff. Under this light, you can see how he sparkles. Got it? Flaunt it at the cat show. Some people think that we're doing something really bad. The right reason to trap unsuspecting cats. It's okay, baby. The way to a feline's heart is through its stomach. We use baby food. I hope they never start making this stuff because it's like kitty crack. Don't try this at home. Raising wild cats and how to prevent the Garfield gut. Catitude is everything. Next on Chronicle. Good evening. Broadcasting's equal time rule usually applies to political coverage. Tonight, we apply the rule to cats. Following our dog program, many, many of you asked us to give felines their turn. So, we drop in on a competitive cat show. is a time and place for showing off. Under this light, you can see how he sparkles in, in his color. <laughs> to be primped. You don't want to undertake a coat like this unless you're very committed. Amper. She's like a kitty diva. And applauded for your sheer, undiluted cattiness. He is my third best. <laughs> We have found our way to the annual Winter Cat Show in Cumberland, Rhode Island. The show is hosted by the Ragdoll Fanciers Club, and Ragdoll Fanciers Club is part of the Cat Fanciers Federation, which is the registry organization. Ken Staples organizes this fur-filled event every year, but he's also got skin in the game. His ragdoll cats are repeat contenders. It's named for its temperament, so it goes limp like a ragdoll, so Raggedy and Raggedy Andy. It's a colorful collection, to be sure, feline and human. About 20 different breeds of cat are represented. He is a Cornish Rex. He's four years old, and he's a master grand champion, and he is uh, my main man. This is an Abyssinian. We call them Abbeys. Meg Lambert of Attleboro is here with her prize Abyssinian, Lou Zealand. Abyssinians are like the natural athlete of the cat world. If you had a cat basketball team, Abyssinians. In fact, one of my cats I compared to Ray John Rondo because he, he he's a lot like him. So, cat basketball, Abyssinians. <laughs> But alongside the exotic breeds like Balinese and Burmans with their impeccable bloodlines, there is room for the less exalted. One of my cats got best household pet. Kim Wynott of Dayville, Connecticut thinks every cat should have its day. She's glad that household pets like her Maine Coon are celebrated here alongside the fussier feline. It's the idea that even your pet is worthy of being treated as a show cat. Household pets must be neutered or spayed to qualify. Other than that, any and all are welcome to strut their stuff. If it lives in your home and you love it and care for it, and he, he or she loves you, that's your household pet. Cindy Nagel of Hingham has been judging cats a long time. Most of my adult life, and we won't get into numbers on that one. Nagel enjoys the latitude she's given when judging household pets. I insist that the cat be having at least a reasonably good time being here. Unless it's loving what it's doing on my table, it doesn't belong here. And after that, I go for whatever happens to strike me as cute today. In that regard, Autumn in Vermont has repeatedly struck gold. She's picked up numerous household pet ribbons and been featured in cat magazines. Owner Cheryl Needswicki says Autumn's strongest asset may be her cat next door appeal. The best part when the spectators come through and they say, oh, I had a cat like her and they get all, you know, emotional and it's just so great that she can move people that way. Making Autumn's celebrity all the more surprising, her humble roots. She's a rescue cat from a shelter in Shaftesbury, Vermont. 
And it's great to, to um, think about what she came from, you know, that she was on the street and had, you know, kittens, and now um, she loves us, so it's really, it's really touching. <laughs> And think your pet could compete at the Cumberland Show? Well, then enter next year. They have to be at least four months old, and if they're older than eight months, they have to be spayed or neutered. All right, now your.